First, open the protocol in the protocol library. Here, we're using an ELISA endpoint protocol with HRP and TNB substrate. The intro shows a little bit about how to use the protocol. Here, we have a plate section where the instrument settings are shown, as well as group tables where the analysis is done. In the plate section, we have wavelength and additional settings. To change any of the settings, click on the gear icon. As ELISAs are typically run in strips, you may want to change the read area so you can select the number of columns for the number of strips you're running. For this example, we'll select three strips and then click OK. You can also set up the template where we'll assign what kind of samples are in the different wells. Here, we can select which wells contain standards, enter the concentration for each one, and then click Assign. We can also assign the wells as unknowns, the samples we want to analyze, and any dilution factor that may be applied. We can choose to set up the template now, or we can wait until later, after we've already read the plate. Now we're ready to read. This is a template that's already been filled out, so that all the group tables are populated, including the standards, which are shown here. We also see the concentration, OD, average standard deviation, and CV. This is used to construct the standard curve. There are many different standard curve fits available in the drop-down menu. Choose the one that suits your data the best. The standard curve is used to interpolate the concentration of our unknowns shown in the unknowns group table. Here we see the value, the resulting concentration calculated from the standard curve, and the application of any dilution factor to arrive at the adjusted concentration. Any samples that fell outside of the range of the standard curve are denoted with an R 